is there something structurally wrong with Hollywood journalism that has prevented people from telling the big stories, from writing the, the exposés necessary to protect children? Sure. Two things. One is it's, it's a big source. So if you're going to write about Nickelodeon and all the stuff in the stars, you're never getting sources on anything again. Mm -hmm. Number two, it's these things, you know, these journalists are expecting like me too, which is adults, to come to them on a silver platter and say, hey, I was an abuse victim and just tell their story. And because nobody's given a shit about them for years, it doesn't work that way. This sources thing, has that ever been true? I mean, has, everybody, has, has anybody in the history of journalism ever broken a massive exclusive and not got more sources as a result, not less? I, 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 people keep no, saying this, and it sounds to me, I'm sorry, it sounds to me like excuse making for cowardice. Because I have never seen in my reporting career an example of somebody break a massive international exclusive and for them not to become somebody uh, bombarded with stories, sources, prestige, bylines, mastheads to write under. It simply isn't true, is it, that if you break a story of this magnitude, your access is going to be cut off in Hollywood. Actually, the reverse has happened every single time it's been tried. Okay, I'll give you that. But here's my point. Isn't it just an you excuse gotta, for, the, for, for cowards? So here's my point. Nobody's given a shit about kids in Hollywood basically forever since Charlie Chaplin was, was raping 14-year-olds, okay? So they're used to that, and they don't think anybody will believe them. None of these journalists are willing to do the digging to get on the field. These stories are a lot tougher to break, and they're just not willing to do the work. So they're not willing to do things that are a lot easier, like ask a bunch of questions. Constant fact of life, being a conservative in America today is being shut down, having your avenues of revenue squeezed and throttled from you, being suffocated, being banned and excised from public life. This is something we are all experiencing. Support us if you can. You'll be able to enjoy an hour or so of me every day, Monday to Friday. We'll be in the studio, entertaining and amusing you. We'll have serious, substantive interviews uh, several days of the week. If you want to enjoy this show, please go to dangerous.com slash join.